Hi everybody, it's Laura Milligan and it is Monday, July 3rd. I don't know about you, but it, for me, it seemed like June just flew by. I, it's crazy, right? Time flies, but it is the 4th of July, kind of long weekend. So I hope you're all, you have some fun plans for tomorrow. I noticed that some of the local fireworks around here, they've already canceled. I don't know why, if there's a storm coming or what, but hopefully not. Um, we just got back. We were out of town visiting my daughter and son-in-law and got back yesterday, um, had a wonderful weekend and um, looking forward to a nice day tomorrow as well. And I didn't know if people would be around watching Facebook Live today. Um, so if you're there, give me a shout out. I know a lot of people have extended the weekend and taken today as a holiday as well. So whatever you're doing, I hope that you had a good weekend and that you'll have a nice, safe 4th of July. Um, if you're there, um, say hi. Let me know what your plans are for the 4th. I'd love to hear. Are you having a cookout? Do you go boating or fishing or just gathering with your family? Um, let me know. It'd be fun to hear what how people are celebrating. So I have, um, there's Terry. Hi, Terry. Hi, Laura. Hi, Jean. A couple people checking in. Hi, Pat. Pat, usually you don't watch. I'm glad to see you today. Um, so I have a couple things I want to talk about, and then I have three really pretty cards to make with you today um, and I'm doing this special it seems like you all are liking that I have a host code each week and if you use that host code between today and Friday Friday night um, I will prep and send you the kit to make the three cards that I'm gonna make today and it seems like this has been really popular so thank you all of all of those of you that have ordered and to take advantage of that special it's something new I'm trying there's Judy. Hi, Judy. Hi, Ann. Um, hi, Sarah. Oh, yeah. So my sister, they always go to the parades. I do too. I love parades. I think we got it from our grandpa. Our grandpa used to always love parades. So, um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and switch my camera view down. And hi, Lucy. How are you? So first thing I want to mention is my summer stamp camp. It is in person or to go. So if you are local to Canton um, or within driving distance of Canton, I encourage you to come. It's going to be really, really fun. The date is July 22nd um, or you can get it to go and I will mail it to you. So I just sent out an email this morning as like a last call. Registration closes July 5th at noon. We are going to be featuring in this camp a brand new punch bundle um, and I know that many, many people cannot wait to get their hands on it. So this, I've already had great response. And so if you haven't, um, registered yet, I do still have space, um, either to go or in person. So I hope that you will get registered. It's, it's not, not to be missed. It's going to be a really great class. Okay. So I have some beautiful cards to share with you today. Um, this is from, I got this in the mail from Marianne, and I, I see she's watching today. Hi, Marianne. I love this card. Love the all of it, all the detail, the paper, the colors. I love this. So sweet. Thank you, Marianne, for that. Love that. This is from Nancy, and it's kind of a fun fold. I love how she did this. These are those gorgeous butterflies we, we had for a while. And look, it's like a trifold. She wrote a note to Rich and I. Nancy's my sister-in-law, and she is the life of the party at all times. And so she included a couple pictures, and I loved how she tucked them under this little butterfly on the inside. So super cute. You made my day. Really, really cute card. And of course, I didn't. I don't have it here to show you, but you know, with Nancy, when you get a card in the mail from Nancy, it's always a beautiful. Um, envelope it's not just a plain white envelope envelope with stamping on it not that there's anything wrong with that but hers is a totally handmade envelope which is really fun and that's this is from my friend Jan and she is so sweet and she just said I love she listed everything that she likes all the things I offer like she pretty much participates in everything and she said I just thought it was time that I sent you a card and thank you for the club the bee box the classes to go the bingo she does it all so this is a really fun stamp set. It's called Bird's Eye View. And what could be better than a stack of books and these little birds with these big glasses? And she added some googly eyes to hers. It's really fun. This is a 
beautiful card featuring the daisy, um, cheerful daisy bundle that we are all loving. This is from my friend Shelly and um, sending good wishes out to her. She had knee surgery um, and I did send her a thinking of you card and then she sent me this card. She's registering for something and sent me this sweet card. So I'm thinking she is doing really well and I'm so thankful for that because she is a sweetheart. And then Renee, who, like I always say, Renee is the most talented person that I know. And she brought me this card today. And when you pull it out, it looks like this. And then you open it like this. And so it stands up. And if you look, there is so much detail. So this is like a box. These are little boxes and it's all come together. This is the front of it. And this is that suite called Lay Shop. And if you look, like there's so much detail. Here's like little stores and there's like clothing and pots of flowers on the front door and just, oh, and oh, I forgot. These stand up too. Look at that, like a little sandwich board, pot of flowers. Look at the detail. Renee is amazing. And you all know I love her so much. So she said, we met when we were in Vienna. Renee was with me and we met a lady named Lorna Carter. She is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and she and Renee have kept in touch. I think they're kind of like pen pals. I don't know, but they communicate maybe through Facebook. But Renee said she saw her make a similar card, and so she, she figured out how to do it. But is this not the coolest thing? That's a great card. Renee is amazing. Okay, so I have some cards. Oh, and I see... Joe and Jen Reeks, hi, first timer here. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so I have three cards I'm going to make for you today, and these are featuring the inked and tiled suite. And let me just show you, I have it marked here. Yes, Renee should teach us. I, I Maybe I'll have her do that. I'll have her hop on Facebook Live sometime. Um, so this is the inked and tiled, or inked, but I'm sorry, inked botanicals is what the suite is called, and the bundle is called inked and tiled. Um, gorgeous papers, love the ribbon. It's beautiful, soft images with some really good words. Hello, friend. Just a note. Thank you. Happy birthday. Lots of love and congratulations. I feel like those words fit like all the needs we would have for sending cards, right? So let me show you, this is on page 94, and I always have to point out, one of the neatest things that Stampin' Up! does is they have what they call their suite collection. So the suite consists of everything you see on this page. And if you write down one number, 161, 172, you will get the whole suite. So in this case, you will get the paper, the ribbon, the stamp set, and the punches that go with it. And that the bundle, it's the bundled price. So you know when you buy a bundle, it's 10% off. So you get that discount as well, but you get one of everything. It just makes for super easy ordering because you just write down one more number. And so I was very intrigued by these samples um, and just love some of the creative things that they've done. I love this one where they use the punch. I'm not sure if you can see it. They use the punch and then stamp the words in the negative. I thought that was really cute. Love how they have clustered these little shapes together. Love this one. I'm actually gonna make something very similar to this one today. So let me set that aside. And let me show you, this is the stamp set, inked and tiled. And the bundle consists of two punches. So it's a double bundle punch pack. So these are the two shapes of the punches. And we're gonna be using those today. Set those aside for a minute. And um, this is the paper and I wanna show it to you. Cause it's so pretty. Let me just show, cause it's always better when you see it in person rather than just um, looking at a little swatch in the catalog. Love these colors. There's Lost Lagoon, Calypso Coral. Love that one too. There's a lot of different patterns in this. And this is 12 by 12. 
Oh no, it's six. It is six by six paper. Okay. So there's, gosh, there's a lot. I think there's like 12 different patterns. And then let me just flip them over real quick. That's a fun, cute little plaid. Here's another plaid. There's a crushed curry, just a kind of soft design. Like that. Lots of really nice, love that one too. I love polka dots. And then that one. So those are the papers. So I have three cards that I'm gonna make for you today. Oh, Colleen's out of town. I hope you're with your family or doing something fun. Hi, Jean from McFarland, Wisconsin. Okay, so I'm gonna start with just kind of a basic, simple card. I am using a petal pink base, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And let me get all my pieces out here. Alright, so I have lots of different parts and pieces, but this card is going to go together really quickly. So petal pink base, like I said, and I'm going to go ahead, I've already scored it, but I just, I still like to use that bone folder and get a nice crisp crease there. Then I am going to take this piece, which is Calypso Coral, it is four and an eighth by five and three eighths and the tutorial you will get the tutorial you'll be able to click um, follow the link to my blog and this will be posted I don't know about tomorrow because of the holiday but by Wednesday we should have this up so that you can um, see all the measurements if you'd like to do these cards again so I'm gonna just adhere this and I thought the petal pink looked really pretty with this um, Calypso Coral. I would have probably not thought to put those two colors together, but I actually pulled from the DSP. Okay, now I have four strips of DSP, and let me see, these measurements are one by three and a half, and what I'm gonna do is just line these up And they're not really in any particular order, but I guess they kind of are, yes. Yeah, so they, they're gonna go like that. And so what I'm gonna do is start with the one at the bottom. These are gonna be as evenly spaced on the card front as possible, as, as I can do. They don't have to be perfect, but I find that if you start at the bottom and just kind of glue that down, give that a press, and then go to the one at the top, and just kind of keep in mind, just sort of eyeball the amount of space there. And I'm just gonna try to duplicate that, pick it up to look at it that way. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. Then I'm just gonna position these, um, kind of doing the same thing. I just wanna make sure there's even, even spacing or as even as I can get it actually. about there. So this started out of course as one piece and then I just cut it into strips which is why the flower pattern lines up. And then that, there we go and that looks pretty good like that. Okay so we have that and then just really simply I am going to take um, this pattern and I'm going to use this punch, whoops, that's not the one I used, sorry. No, you know what it is. I look, okay, so this is from something else I was doing, so I do want this punch. Okay, so I'm gonna take that, set that aside, and then I'm gonna take a piece of white. Um, my inside panel of my card is very vanilla because that, is sort of what the background of this pattern is, but you can see there's white going through, and I love the combination. I love the look of 
white and very vanilla together. Um, so I'm gonna use white for the front, but while, well, yeah, so you know what, let me do that first. I'm gonna put that there. I am going to take Hello Friend from my stamp set. And there it is. And I'm gonna use Lost Lagoon ink, and I'm just gonna angle that. I'm gonna stamp first. Hi, Margaret, welcome, thanks for watching. I'm gonna stamp this right there, like that. And then I'm gonna take this same punch and just line this up. And I'm, you know what, and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna take my paper snips and just trim a little bit off the bottom here. Hopefully I didn't trim too much off. <clears throat> Get that out of the way. There we go. And now I can center this. I had a little bit too much um, card stuck at the bottom there. So I'm gonna punch that out. It's good when you can stamp first and then punch because you can get um, the image, it, it'll be perfectly straight that way. Okay, so then I'm gonna just take these two pieces and offset them like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue those together. We'll just do it like that, just like that. Okay, then I'm gonna take some ribbon, and this is also from the suite. I love this ribbon. It is Lost Lagoon, and it's a quarter of an inch. It's really soft and nice to work with. And I'm just gonna take this ribbon and fold it in half and angle like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I like to put um, a glue dot on the top and the bottom of my rib of my little folded ribbon and this is going to go about right here so I'm just going to tuck that there and then um, this will be held down once I add my um, little emblem and I'm going to go ahead and pop this up I'm going to put a dimensional just there and there I don't need one where the ribbon is because the ribbon is going to pop it up anyway So I'm gonna put one there, one at the bottom. And we'll just put that about right there like that. So those dimensionals are gonna pop it up. And then um, let's take this vanilla panel. And I think what I'm gonna do, let me see, I'm going to take, um, Let's see. I'm just gonna stamp one of the flowers. I'm gonna do this big image. Any of these, you could do any of these on the inside. So I'm gonna put this here and I'm using Calypso Coral for this flower on my next card. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that on this card as well. And you can see there, there's Calypso Coral flowers in this DSP, so that'll be perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and just ink this up. Not the whole thing, but just a little bit of it. And I'm just gonna stamp this here on the edge of the card. Love that stamp, right? I love that. Um, let me see, I think I might have an envelope because that would be really pretty on the envelope as well. Yep, here's one. Yep, there's an envelope. And I'll just stamp that there on the front. Isn't that cute? I love I love this um, stamp. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so we'll go ahead and attach this. I'm gonna put my glue away for a minute, or I'm gonna ink away, sorry. <laughs> and I'm gonna just go ahead and attach this to the center of my card. Just finishes it off nicely. 
I love that flower stamp. I think it's so pretty. So there we have our first card. I want to add some bling. And I am using, these are the Iridescent Pastel Gems. I have used these a lot. Um, they're one of my favorites, one of my go-to, because I feel like they go with everything. Um, and I'm just going to pick up a couple of these. I think for this one, I'm going to use this coral color. Actually, any of these, but I'm going to just do this. Let's see. Put one there. Put one there. And then I'll put one of the big ones down there. Okay. All right, so there we have that. That is our first card for today. Pretty simple, but I love just cutting up the DSP like that. I think it's a great, quick, easy way to add, add a little bit of interest, make it look a little bit different. And there's the inside of our card, matching envelope. Okay, so that's card number one. I think the color combination with the the crushed curry, the lost lagoon, calypso coral. I think it's such a a pretty combination for these cards. Okay, so I have another card, and this one, um, like I said, was kind. Of, this is the one that was sort of inspired by. Um, let me get my notes out here. It was inspired by a card in the catalog with my, I kind of did my own take on it. So I'm gonna use some designer paper, two different patterns here. This piece I cut four and a quarter by five and a half. It's gonna fill the whole card front. You won't see any border below, but my card base is very vanilla. It is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Yes, Jean says, I always try to stamp on the envelope. I agree, it makes, it just makes, it's kind of what my friend Janice says, it's a tease of what what is gonna be on the inside, or it's a tease that there is something in, something special on the inside. So I'm gonna start then with a very vanilla panel. It is three and three quarters by four and three quarters, and I'm just gonna layer some stamped images on this. Let me get these out of the way here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with um, this image and I'm gonna stamp this in petal pink. And this is just gonna be a real subtle um, background. I can't remember if when I made this, if I stamped off before I did, I don't think I did. I might have, but I'm just going to add just a couple of these little strips of color here. And, you know, maybe what I'll do, yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit of interest. Okay, so there we have that. That's just really light. I don't even know for sure if you can see that, but yeah, it looks like you can. It's coming through okay. All right, and then I'm going to take this big flower that I just used on the envelope of the last card. And I'm gonna use Calypso Coral. And I'm gonna stamp this in the center. And I'm gonna put it about right there, like that. Love that stamp. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna take my Lost Lagoon ink getting all the colors out here, I guess. Lost Lagoon, and I am going to do this leaf image here. And let me grab a block. Okay. So my leaf image is gonna be in Lost Lagoon, and it's gonna be over at this side, just kind of angling in like that. And I'm gonna take that off. My, and you know what, while I have this out, I'm gonna, I think I'll stamp just for something different. Um, I'm gonna grab an envelope. And I'm gonna just put that right there. So you can see what the whole thing looks like. And I have found 
for some of our ink colors, like I noticed this with the Lost Lagoon, it is going to lighten up as the ink dries. The ink is already dry, like you can rub your hand across it, but I just find it that it is, it's gonna, it's gonna lighten up. Okay, so I'll set my envelope aside. And then I'm gonna do, my next image is gonna be this flower. And I'm gonna stamp this in crushed curry. Grab a block here. Okay. So let me get my crushed curry. And for the crushed curry, that's gonna go over in this area. And I'm just gonna stamp and then stamp a couple times. Stamp and then just do, just to kind of fill in that area like that. Then I have one more stamp that I want to use and it's this little, it reminds me of like a center of a flower maybe or like a little petal or a seed. And for this one I just need a little block. Let's see what I have here. This will work. This is my B block and I'm going to use the um, petal pink again. Don't you think these colors are pretty? And I'm really basically just pulling them from um, the designer paper. And I'm just gonna stamp a few of these. No rhyme or reason really, just kind of. Okay, so there's five of them, which is good. I like to use an uneven number. I think this one, you know what, I'm gonna do one more, maybe right there, because I feel like this one might be covered up with my words. Okay, and then for my words, I have these two pieces here, and I'm gonna put this ink away. I think, yeah, I think the only one I need is Lost Lagoon. So I'm gonna, there's Lost Lagoon. I'm gonna put Crush Curry away. All right, so what I'm gonna do, this is just a half inch piece of very vanilla and I am going to use the Just a Note stamp. Oh wait, I think this says, this says lots of love, but you know what, why not? Let's just use that. I'm gonna put that on here. The, the Just a Note and lots of love are about the same size. Whoops, let me flip it over it down here so you could use either one of them on this that's kind of high let's see third time a charm yeah that looks better okay <laughs> so what I'm going to do then is take this punch and what I'm going to do is just slide this into the center section here because I wanted I thought that would be a cute shape for the words and then and you don't even have to cut it right it's just just right like that I thought that was kind of fun. And then I wanted to mount it on some designer paper. And so what I did was I just took this piece here and it is, I think it's, it's about five eighths, one, two, yeah, five eighths inches. So it's a little bit wider. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue my panel, my word panel onto that. Just a little bit of glue. No, I'm, I'm afraid to squeeze it because I'm afraid it's gonna, there we go. A little bit of glue, come on. Well, I might need to, hold on. Yeah, I can see a little bit of, I do have my straight pin, that's what I normally would do, but okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to center this like that. And then what I did was I just used my paper snips and left a little bit of a border. Like 
like that. And that way you can st you can see it almost looks like it was punched, like two different size punches, but I'm just gonna leave a little bit of a border around that so it just takes it mimics the shape of my word my words there so that's going to go on there and so let's go ahead and put this card together so I put my ink away all right so I'm going to start with my four and a quarter by 11 this is scored at five and a half I'm going to give it a nice crease And I'm gonna start with this pattern paper. And actually, so I, I like this. I thought that looked really pretty with this. This is, this is also really cute. This side of the paper, it just depends on what you, what you like best. I think for today, I'm gonna to do this. So let me get my glue. Oh boy, and there, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna blob out. I was waiting for that, right? Let me just get that spread around. And this is, like I said, it's gonna cover the whole front of our card base. And hopefully I spread the glue out enough so that it's not gonna blob everywhere. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, then I'm gonna take this green DSP and put that across the center. Okay. Next I have a panel of petal pink three and three eight three and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And that is, I'm gonna mount my stamped panel on that. So let's go ahead and, oh, you know, you know what, I popped this up. So let me add, before I glue it, I don't wanna glue it, I wanna pop it up. I usually just do four dimensionals on a panel like this. Sometimes I put one in the middle but I think this will be just fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. And there's just a small bit of the petal pink showing behind this. I didn't make a, a real big mat. Now I'm gonna glue this down to the front of my card. Get that centered on there. Hi, Roxanne from North Dakota. That's fun. Thanks for watching today. Okay, so we got that. Make sure that's straight. And then I'm um, going to add our word panel. And what I did was I took a little bit of that Lost Lagoon ribbon. Which I somehow, somehow managed to misplace. Where did I put it? Oh, my gosh. I know it's here. Oh, it's for Duh. Here it is right in front of me. Doesn't that always happen? I'm gonna take just a little bit, I'm gonna fold this in half and just angle that edge. I just want a little snippet of that. And that I am going to attach just like that. And I think what I'll do is use a dimensional Oh, and here's, hi, Sandy from Marshfield, Wisconsin. Thank you for watching today. Oh my gosh, I think the sun is trying to come out here. That's good. So here's this, lots of love, or just a note, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna put that right there, like that. And I need to add something under here. So I think what I'm gonna do is take one of my mini dimensionals and I'm gonna just put that right on the very end of this little word panel here. There we go. So then that'll be attached. And then I'm gonna add some bling. I'm gonna use a couple different colors. I wanna use this 
um, blue, which on this card, it looks like Lost Lagoon. I don't know if it's supposed to be, if it's pool party, but it kind of takes on that Lost Lagoon color. Maybe that's what it is. I'm just not sure. And then I'll do another Calypso Coral, just like that. Okay, so there we have that. Isn't it pretty? I love this card. I think it's just so soft and pretty. I love the colors. And then I think for the inside of the card, I'm going to take my, um, well, you know what? I'll tell you what, since I still have this little flower, the crushed curry flower, I'm just going to stamp that like that. Actually, I think it'd be kind of pretty to go all the way down the edge. Let's just do that. Why not? There we go. Just for something different. So lots of love. Let me hold that up so you can see it. All the different colors and textures. And then there's the inside of our card. And actually, you know what I also have? There's, I have this strip extra, which I actually had intended to put right there. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I think that's pretty. Hi, Barb. It's a great set. I agree, Barb. It's, I, I love it. Love the colors. Okay, so there we have that. There is card number two. Here's our matching envelope. And can, do you see how this green, the Lost Lagoon, has lightened up quite a bit? Even on, um, yeah, it definitely, it definitely has lightened up. Okay, so there's our second card. And then our third one is kind of fun. Well, I think it's really fun. Let me get organized here a minute. And I think for this one, the only color I need is Lost Lagoon for ink. And just as a reminder, if you want, if you would like the kits to make these three cards, um, you can place an order in my online store and then this would be the host code that you would use. If I see this host code, then I between today and Friday night, I will know that you are interested in getting the kits to make these three cards. Now per Stampin' Up! policy, I can't include um, any stamped images, so you could order the bundle, um, you could order the suite from me, and then you would have um, a, you, you know, you would, be, you would have the products to make these exactly like I am doing today. It's a minimum, I forgot to say, it's a minimum $35 order with this host code, you would get the card kits. If you do a $50 order, then you would get, in addition to this, a surprise, an embellishment from me as a thank you. So most people I find kick their order up to $50 because they wanna get the embellishment as well. So, all right, my third card, very vanilla base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I have, this is, this is a monochromatic card. And sometimes monochromatic cards are my favorite um, and this does not have a lot of parts and pieces to it so I have taken a panel this is four by five and a quarter regular vanilla and I am using it's a new embossing folder new to the annual catalog called exposed brick it's a three-dimensional um, or 3d folder which means that the Im the impressions are like really deep and it's also thicker, the, the folder itself is thicker. So I have already gone ahead and embossed this. Let me hold this up, hopefully you can see the pattern there. There we go. Like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this with my glue. Oops. I'm gonna put that down there like that. And then I have this little piece of vanilla. It is three by three eighths. Three by three eighths, three across, three and three eighths. Let me get my bone folder. A crease. I'm going to flip it over on the back as well. Okay, so there we have that. 
So this part, what I'm gonna do is take this block, and you could do this with any size block. I wanna make sure this is clean, okay. This is a D block, and so what I'm gonna do with this is just take my Lost Lagoon ink, and I'm gonna press the block into the ink pad, it ends up looking like that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna push down, so stamp off once, and then I'm gonna take, this is an old stamp and mist bottle that I had for, I've had it for a long time, and I just have it marked water, I just put water in this. And I'm just gonna do a quick spritz. I'm not holding it too close, because I don't wanna like splatter it, I just wanna do like a quick spritz just like that, maybe do another little one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and center this on this, this piece of DSP, or this piece of Very Vanilla. And then give that a press. And the fun thing about this is, every time you do this, it's gonna turn out different. So here's what it looks like. And what you're gonna to wanna to do then is let this dry a little bit. It dries pretty fast. Sometimes, and I can see this is kind of turning a little bit, but um, it will flatten out. And what I did actually when I was making this was I just took my block and set it down like that on top of it so that it'll make sure that this, this panel is straight. But it does keep, it's really not a problem, but you wanna let that dry a little bit because I'm gonna stamp over this so here's one I did ahead of time, and you can see how they all they both just look so different, but that's kind of the fun of it. Depending on where your water hits that block, you're gonna get a you're gonna get a different um, look to your to your stamped image. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my leaf. Hi Suzanne, how are you doing? Okay, so I'm inking this big leaf up, and this is the one that I did ahead of time. It is already dry, and I'm just gonna sort of angle this. There we go. It's a fun technique, it's, it's easy, it's not real messy. That's my kind of technique, right? <laughs> and you know what, I could probably, I could probably stamp on this, but I do feel that it's still a little bit wet. I guess we could try it, should we try it? Let's do an experiment. Hey Paula, how are you? I'm doing well, Suzanne, thank you. So this one is still wet, and I don't think it really made a difference. So you probably, if it, it, and again, it depends on how much you saturate your block, how much water you spritz on the, the ink, but, I think it's not gonna to hurt to give it just a minute or two, a couple minutes for it to dry. But look how different these both look. I don't know, which is your favorite? I kinda, I think I like this one better. It's, it's blended a little bit more. But again, it's where that, it's just how the ink splattered and hit the, hit that block. Okay, so now I also, the only other stamping I'm gonna do is on one of these little shapes. This is, this is die cut from the um, Nested Essentials dies, and I'm gonna turn this into a happy birthday card. There's also, I, I like, there's a lot of words. You could do the thank you, hello friend, the happy birthday. I'm gonna do the happy birthday. Oh, Jean, you like the one on the left? I think that was this one. Interesting, okay. That just shows everybody likes different, everyone has a favorite. Okay, so I'm gonna do the happy birthday, stamp that right on this little shape. Okay. And now we're ready to put this together. So we have our very vanilla thick base and then our exposed brick panel, also in very vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and add this here and I'm gonna pop this up with some dimensionals.
just put that right there like that. And then I'm going to take my word panel and that's going to be down here. And I'm just going to add a piece of our ribbon. I'm going to fold this in half. And I'm going to put this sideways like that. So let me just give it a snip. And I think I have a seal here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of Stampin' Seal there. To hold that ribbon down. And then this is gonna be just put on there like that. I'm gonna put some dimensional. I'm gonna do a top and a bottom. Oops, don't want to put it on upside down, do we? So that's going to just rest over that ribbon like that. Put that stick down, and I'm going to trim this a little bit. Just like that. And then, of course, we're going to add some gems. And so for this one, hi, Joy, how are you? Oh, first time catching me live, really? Well, good. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm, and to finish this, I'm just going to add some of these clear gems and I'm just going to kind of scatter these around that leaf image. And I'll put one right there like that. Okay. So there's our third and final card, and the background of this, like I, like I showed you, is just one of the clear blocks um, with ink spritz, stamped off, spritzed, and then we stamped over it. So those are the three cards for today and for this week. And so just one more time, if you place an order this week between now and Friday of $35 or more um, using this host code, and I will make sure that I get that out there to you as well. But I will send you the kits to make these three cards. Um, if your order is $50 um, or more, then I will send you not only this, these kits, but also um, a free package of jams as a thank you. So um, those are the cards. And oh, hi, Barb from Saskatchewan. Okay, so I'm going to just change my view again so just I hope you enjoyed those cards today I fell in love with that paper I will say when I first glanced through the catalog it wasn't something that I thought I had to have but you know what always happens you see you see samples with something and then suddenly you have to have it and that's what happened to me and I'm so glad I got this bundle this sweet because I think it's um I love the colors I love the coordinating punch and the paper is gorgeous as well. I think Stampin' Up! always does an amazing job with, with our designer paper. I think it's over the top beautiful. Um, so don't forget, if you have not registered, just a quick reminder about my summer stamp camp. I will have information, even if you just scroll down on my um, Facebook business page, which is where you're watching this now, um, you can see information. You can email me for a registration link, but registration closes uh, Wednesday, July 5th at noon. So don't miss out. Um, it's We're featuring an adorable new punch bundle with a truck and a coordinating punch. Super, super cute. And I hope that you will join me for that. It's available to go or in person if you're local or if you want to take a trip, take a road trip, um, come and join us for that in-person camp. Otherwise, I can mail it anywhere in the United States. And um, I would be very happy to do that. So thank you all for joining me today. I wish you a safe and happy 4th of July. I hope you get to do something fun. And um, I will be back next Monday. I'm not sure yet what my projects will be then, but I, I got to get my creative hat on and see what I can come up with for next week. But thank you so much for watching today. And as always, I hope you have time to be creative today. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care.